being a black folk, and basically there's lots of stuff to watch that I've just made recently today. There's three. I actually put out four videos today. Okay, we'll have updates on this here because I actually shot it at too small of a res revolution. Uh, resolution. Yeah, resolution. And I'll give you a higher resolution, uh, better zoom in and everything like that, and then make sure you go over to the... Uh, Anybody that's new to the channel, go to the old channel, which is basically never going to go away because basically I should be able to upload videos over there too. Uh, too much actual factual data that they actually, a lot of videos here at this new channel, but so at my main channel, you can go on the featured and then on the feature page, you're going to have lots of places where you can basically just go ahead and click to go over to the old site. Okay, there's some good footage this person had over there. At that one, that rad chick. And basically, check out YouTube. There's plenty of people out on YouTube to check out. Okay, so you can go to the main old channel by clicking here or clicking here. Now, I've got this frozen. I'm going to give you a video and a date and a time and everything like that. And this is from a webcam on Earth, which basically catches a, an M12 flare that, of the Halo CME that came off of the sun. Okay. The webcam caught it. Now the most important thing is that's the sun there. Okay? This is not the sun's magnetic line. And since we're shooting from Earth, Mercury's not this far over on the fourth when this day was shot. Was shot okay? Because factual, if we come down and look at it, they basically show that and basically I appreciate this person and everything like that. And ain't gonna read it off, everybody can read it. Okay. On the 3 4 13, same day, 1548, it's a time and everything like that. And it is. They caught it. It's great. It's, a beauti it's beautiful footage. And we'll come back and play it. But first off, what I'll do is I'm going to show you the actual fact that this all did happen because I'll take you to. Now, here we are on the 3rd. And there is a possibility that it might be Mercury. But let's find out. Okay? We've got the moon there. That's Mercury, and we're going to hit play. And thank goodness I just got it like one hour at a time. So if we go through, and then we'll have the fourth. But I really kind of doubt that if we've got Mercury in line enough that when, as you can see, the, the clock's moving down here. You really can't see, but everything is moving, okay? Because if I speed it up, or if anybody uses some player like this, now we're going to be at the 1500th hour. And maybe we did have Mercury far enough over. So we possibly have caught Mercury's magnetical line from a webcam on Earth because we just passed the 1500 hour. And Mercury is enough around over past the front. So we have a great, a great video of Mercury's magnetical in front of the sun as when we had that alignment and Mercury just going to the right because you're going to see exactly where it's at on the magnetical line on it. And this is what we had for flare the, on the 4th. And as you can see, Earth was flaring, you know, doing its static magnetical. And basically what I got a great photo of the local pan stars coming comet coming around recently. And I'm going to be able to pretty much, I already have pretty much proved that it is not like Lovejoy that basically our sun is not the star that it is going to, but we have a some kind of a relationship between whatever star and pan stars they figure has been going in space for over a hundred million years to get here. Okay, so we have a, a huge star somewhere way out in space from the Big Bangs, or even if they want to say just the Big Bang, because it loops around our sun, doesn't change its. Uh, magnetical direction on its tail and so forth and so on that I can see so far unless we get some other footage and then so but this is what's going on on the fourth and then uh, we basically had the CME at like 1500 hour on here which it kinda looks like they may have left it out of the footage okay uh, I don't know why so we'll pop back over and see if we can see the 1500 hour on the other side of Sechi and I don't know if I have to slow it down so that might be something to do can we see the 15 tonner yeah we have the 15 tonner hour here so 
now I gotta hurry up and pause, step back. And I just keep going and we'll get the fifteen hundred hour, fifteen fifty one or something like that she has it at. But we're just gonna get whatever they got at fifteen hundred hour. So there was a CME or action, some kind of magnetical action. And you can see this here flaring of, of Earth. So basically, we actually have, as I step it, and as you can see Earth doing that right there, and there's still a massive distance even from this flare here. But as you see, we're getting static electrical so close to Earth that at the 1500 hour, that what you're seeing right there, and I'll pump it up to 400 so if anybody's missing it, okay? But this CME action over here to the left, the reactive flare, is actually what you're seeing that's basically our plasma field is getting sprayed. Because as you can see at the 15, 2900 hour, okay, that is Earth over here. And that's what you're gonna see in that video that you have that I that's frozen right now as we go back to it. Okay, so we pump down to just pop 125 and hit forward and I'll step and that's going back to the sun so you did see that eruption there as you see this energy come and then it flares the static and that's our static cling on earth and let's go and play that video and then what I've got is I've got a good uh, we'll play this and I've got a great picture from space when Panstars came by. Alaska, it looks like some kind of a uh, eruption here. So it's from Alaska, is the footage. Okay. And then basically, you're able to see our atmosphere flare. This is, that is actually, now that's just ISS she had for a minute that she must watch a lot. It's no big deal there. But basically, from this webcam, she ended up getting that flare and here's the footage. You actually see the auroral flare. This is the auroral over here to the right on our plasma flaring with mercury coming around. And it did it from that CME that came off the sun. And then basically our megahertz bleed too. If you've seen the vid videos earlier today, check how fast that it's changed. And where it's basically, our protons are basically getting absorbed so and basically still round oh they're on purple so it's about it's dropped down a little bit it's not really it's getting a little bit blue you're getting a little bit of a blue trace there so starting to come up a little bit into maybe the six area or something like that and then so and as you see right there also okay you want to save this video too folks for basically that's the earth right there basically this guy's got this basically down to he took this up when there were when we had a sunspot and that is earth and here's a larger and you can get how small earth is compared to the sun that yes a sunspot could easily and that's not even the biggest that we end up with could swallow earth okay so thanks to him and then basically that's something to go comparable to size all the time so it's a good thing we stay c pretty close to not even less than under an AU away from the Sun okay but we do we are starting to gain back again it's gonna be a drought everybody knows that this summer is gonna be a drought or it's gonna be a miracle if they can pull off another enough weather modification to give us enough moisture uh, and it'll be a human miracle because so now what I have here is we have a great shot from our friends at NASA who put something up on and they don't tell us about the aperture or the ISO speed or anything like that because basically it's highly classified. Put the sat satellite out in space by NASA, okay? Now remember, this is the sun and then there is the static cling of Earth and you can see it. Now it's very good to watch it on a laptop because if you put it on a laptop screen and you tilt your screen around a little bit or if you gotta play around with your computer screen, you can actually see the static connection of the electrical right there, Earth there. Now, what you have to do is, I'm sitting here on a laptop right now recording this here movie. And as you see Comet Pan Stars, 
it's been showing that it has a magnetical on it, okay? Identical to that of direction of Earth in Mercury. And I'm going to take you to another shot and show you that, okay? Because basically, on Earth, when you're looking at it, this here is the equator that static rolls like a bearing, creates friction and heat, and it gives our, our static balloon connection of our plasma field to the sun's magnetic static electrical there that you can see in the Suchi films when I show you the Suchi when you see the CMEs come off. Or just basically the sunlight, okay? That's it there. Now there is great energy that's coming off this comet, which is basically an orbitable of a sun way the hell out in space that we don't know how damn far because I'll take you to JP real fast and show you the actual factual that when they were sitting there saying that it's come out from over by Pluto, it's, they were actually wrong because it may, basically, if anything, came more to coming out by, as I play with the deal, and you'll see that they don't know how long the orbit is because they just found it two years ago, okay? So basically, it was closer to Saturn, okay, on its big turn that it has, but it has such a big orbit and then it came from such a huge star that the sun really has not even changed. It didn't do what it did to Lovejoy. To Lovejoy, it changed its polarity, okay? Just like an electric motor, okay? So it didn't do that to this, to pan stars so far. So uh, pan stars is got a huge orbit, and basically JPL shows it leads it to you right here. Because I can play with that up and down, as you can see, they don't know how flipping far out. And if I play with the zoom, you got to understand, we only are sitting out there by Neptune and so forth. And they said, oh, it came out over by Pluto. Well, it actually came closer to a turn past Saturn than it did by Pluto. You see that there? See that left hand there? And it was still a long ways away from Saturn. But it was a hell of a long ways away from Pluto, too. Well, these are massive distances out there. And as you can see, how damn far out, and hatch, even when we get close, how big of an arc it's got when it came through our solar system. So we're lucky we even got a, got a peaky poo at this thing, okay? Because it's barely going to come up here in the future, as I put it the day ahead. It's barely coming up, even within, it came up over, let me see, when we're looking at the line, it comes up over top of all of our basically Milky Way galaxy you see it's way the hell high up above all of our platitudes you see we're lucky to see it because it's bleeding down here and remember we're on the outside of the Milky Way galaxy pretty good like when I showed you go back to the video that I showed you the shot from a satellite of the Milky Way galaxy you see so this is way the hell up and high up okay and basically we get a little bit of a shot of it at an angle by Earth they're showing you where because they're shooting from a satellite way the hell out here because they got Earth in that shot with the Sun you see what I'm saying so if, when I play with it like this you realize how high up it is and that basically this is barely even it might not even be in our solar system but they got such great cameras that they could get a shot of it coming by Earth so this doggone thing is pretty damn big because it was a hell of a long way even from stereo B when they got that shot, when I showed you those shots earlier. So, uh, ISS, I got a shot that I got zoomed in on there. And uh, this is just an absolute amazing shot that they got here from way the hell out. And I also have, now if you watch Pan Stars come in here, okay, you're gonna see an asteroid or meteorite or comet come flashing right by it because there, you see that one go there? Check that out, okay? so. Check that out, and then I'm going to have some good footage here for you in a second. Check that out. See that? Okay. So, also, so remember with that other picture that I showed you that we can see stuff a lot farther. We have satellites way farther out than what you believe. Now, the sun's over here to the left, so make sure you watch that this planet actually, this is what we believe we found below the sun, and it's actually orbiting clockwise not counterclockwise and that's not that is not Venus so it's some pretty astounding footage here and match it to that picture because this is not Venus it's too small 
and remember earth 